Alright guys, so we've got this, uh, the, the two billets. Now these are 189 layers. Um, and what we're going to do now is start working on the raindrop pattern. Um, I'm going to get some of the scale off here and then we're going to head over to the, uh, the drill press. I'm going to cut the end off uh, of, of these two right quick or one of them. We'll start working on the, uh, on the raindrop pattern. I'll go over the drill press, show you guys uh, what I do, and then we'll start getting them cleaned up and that's when we start forging them out to uh, a more final, final shape. Uh, then we'll clean them up and etch them and show you the pattern. All right guys, so over here on the drill press, I'm gonna start getting this set up. Uh, what I use are these Bosch uh, Daredevil multi-purpose. Um, they have these carbide inserts in the uh, in the cutting edge there. And so when you're drilling high carbon steel or Damascus, this is annealed, so a regular drill bit would drill no problem, but this. Uh, has a lot better wear tolerance and it'll just kind of get the divot that I'm looking for. Uh, the angle is not quite what I would like. I don't know what exactly these these are. I don't think they say what angle they're, they are, but the smaller the angle, the, the better the pattern gets. You want to get a very uh, cone-shaped um, uh, divot in there. Um, so you're just making little pecs just a little into it. This is about three-eighths of an inch. Um, I'm going to probably go almost an eighth of an inch deep with each of these and it takes quite some time and then that'll be on, on each side and then we'll be able to draw this thing out to about an eighth of an inch uh, thick long to make the, the knives out. Uh, with it that that's what I'm going to be making with these so I'm going to get this set up on the drill press uh, get my stop set to where I'll just go down and start making uh, little little divots in this all the way through set up ready to go and then we're just going to Start making divots. Just random, just wherever. Pick it up, slide it over, let it fall. Pull it down or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Just trick on some of this is you got to get the divots deep enough so that as you're forging it back out and then start grinding in bevels and, and other stuff like that that you're not grinding all the way through the divot because that the, this divot is where the pattern comes from uh, the raindrop the bullseye so it's kind of kind of tricky you gotta you gotta get deep enough but but not too deep so that you go too deep through this and don't have enough steel to make a knife when you're done. But what this does, so when you have these divots like this and the, the conical wedge, as you flatten this back down, it brings all the layers from the bottom back up to the surface here. And so you get this rings, ripple effect, bullseye effect, uh, pattern that shows up. So it's kind of time consuming. You gotta sit here and just you know hammer away on the drill press for make as many of them on here as you can. Uh, for the random rain drop, they fall randomly. You just you can have them kind of overlap one right next to each other. Uh, kind of be an elongated drop. I'll do one right there. And it's going to cut into the next one a little bit. So I kind of have two, two there, two drops fill next to each other and kind of coalesce. Just long, 
tedious, tedious process, but that's, uh, that's kind of what Damascus is. It's a long, tedious process, uh, but the reward is there in the end because it, it just the beauty of it. I don't make, I don't make any other knives other than Damascus, so um, it's kind of my specialty, so to speak. Find, uh, find a lot of enjoyment making knives that don't have the pattern on them or anything like that. I've made a few choppers and things like that, not out of Damascus, but just more of a brush axe, so to speak. But if I'm making knives, I'm pretty much guarantee it's going to be Damascus. I didn't count the holes, but <laughs> that's a bunch, and that's just the one side. So now we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing. Okay, so here are the two billets with all the little dimples and holes drilled in them. Uh, it's time to light the forge. We're gonna throw it in the forge and then start pressing all these out to where these will once again become flat. And that's what's going to leave us our pattern on there. So I'm going to light the forge, throw these in, and let them start getting up to temperature.
All right, so here's our billet of the Raindrop Damascus. I'm going to etch this real quick, kind of show you guys uh, how it turned out. It's at a really rough 220 uh, belt finish, but it's enough to uh, show the etch pretty well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just dip it in for a few minutes and then uh, show you guys the pattern. So that was the ferric chloride, and then this is just some uh, water and uh, baking soda, ammonia, just kind of neutralize it. So here's the, the raindrop pattern. I think it turned out really well. Um, camera probably doesn't do it a whole lot of justice, but uh, it looks really good. A lot of little raindrops in there. And so uh, this is about to get turned into a, into a knife. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit uh, like and subscribe. And if you got any uh, questions or comments, uh, just leave, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.